Buenos días familia a esta edición especial de NLC Live totalmente en español. Mi nombre es Daniel, mi esposa y yo somos los pastores de la reunión en español de aquí del de campus de Conway. Y es un privilegio poder compartir el devocional con ustedes esta mañana. It's not going to be all in Spanish. Maybe just a little bit. Today's devotional, I want to talk about a scripture that's found in, Ma in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 18, verses 19 and 20. So we're going to read it in the NIV version first, the New International Version, and then uh, one of my favorite versions. It uh, doesn't have to be your favorite, but there's uh, different kinds, and I just enjoy to read uh, the ESV, the English Standard Version, and that's what I have right here. Again, truly, I tell you that if two of you on earth agree about anything they ask for, it will be done by my Father in heaven. For where two or three gather in my name, there I am with them. So the English Standard Version says, again I say to you, if two of you agree on earth about anything they ask, it will be done for them by my Father in heaven. For where two or three are gathered in my name, there I am among them. Something that I do every time I, I read a, a scripture is look at the context. And if you've been watching these devotionals, you um, notice that a lot of people do that. It's, 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 it's just a way for us to kind of understand uh, the scripture, to read what's happening before and after. The headings are also a great place to start. If, you are, if you're like me, when you get a book, you always look at the, uh, the, the names of the chapters, kind of look at the index in the front and kind of look at the names of the chapters, see what the title of the chapters are. Well, the Bible has that exact same th uh, thing uh, within each chapter there are subheadings and you can just open any Bible and uh, kind of look at the subheadings and that kind of helps us also kind of get a picture of what's happening in that scripture there that we're about to read and so in this particular passage you can see up there there up here on the if your brother sins against you so I've heard this scripture many times a lot of speakers have shared this scripture but when I read that scripture it's talking about when somebody offends you. Maybe you're like me, whenever I first read this, I thought this scripture was about prayer, but actually the context of this scripture is Jesus teaching his disciples what to do when they are offended. If you read in verses 15 through 18, Jesus is teaching his disciples that if, is, if anyone is, has offended you or if you're offended by anybody, to go up to that person and, and talk to them. Jesus is making a promise to be divinely present when his disciples seek for unity, and that promise still stands today. Because what happens whenever we choose to avoid the issue or avoid a problem that we're having with somebody else? Um, bitterness begins to sneak in and, and affect our soul. And if we read, and, and we're talking about context, and if we read the, the next subheading underneath uh, this part of scripture, it says the parable of the unforgiven servant. I'm not sure if there might be somebody that you're bitter towards, somebody who's hurt you or did you wrong or um, has caused you some type of pain. Here's what I think you should do. Tag them on this video. No, I'm just kidding. Don't tag them on this video. That'd be a bad idea. But maybe reach out to them, meet with them, come in agreements with them and, and, and talk it through. Because, and the Bible promises that Jesus is gonna be there in that midst. I know that we think that, man, God could never be in the middle of me and that other person, but no, God promises that if you and I come together in agreement, God is gonna be there. So don't be afraid of the disagreement or the problem because God is bigger than that and he wants to be in the midst of that. So a command that I believe God has wanted us to obey is that whenever there's a disagreement or somebody's hurt us that instead of ignoring that person to go and approach that person and have that conversation with them. The promise that we can claim through this scripture I see is that God wants to be in the midst of us, that no matter the disagreement, no matter what is happening between us or someone else, God wants to be with us. And the sin to avoid would be the bitterness and, and the hurt and the pain that would be able, that, that would grow inside of us to hurt our souls. And the application to make is simple. Through prayer, ask for strength, to be able to come together with that person and simply ask God and pray for God's will. And that, I think that this is what it's all about, coming together and when you come in agreement, we can all agree on one thing and that's God's will for our lives. So can I pray with you today as we, as we study this word and continue to, throughout our day, we're gonna just pray that God will be with us in our midst. So I just pray for strength right now for, for myself and anybody listening or watching. Um, 
that may be struggling with bitterness or pain or or, or hurt, God, I pray that um, you give us a strength to be able to uh, have a conversation, God, with with, an, with that other person, Lord, that we can come uh, together and, and seek forgiveness, God, so that we can put that aside. And Lord, your word says that you're going to be close to us. Uh, and so we, uh, we receive that. And we're so thankful for your word and your presence. In Jesus' name we pray. Three, two. Oh, what's up, John? Y'all are in my coffee throwing area. Okay, um, let's try that again. No olviden a darle un like y suscríbanse a sus devocionales. Don't forget to like and subscribe.